Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, there are still many places where people don't enjoy the freedoms that Canadians have. Lately, violence has flared in Egypt at the expense of the Coptic minority, attacked and killed in their places of worship. Our subcommittee on international human rights has just heard testimony about this situation. Clearly, more has to be done to protect minority rights. First, the extremists who plan and carry out these violent attacks need to be brought to justice. And the government of Egypt must act to physically protect minorities as they go about their daily lives. As Egypt heads into elections, the transitional government must ensure that these elections are both free and fair, including inviting international observers to monitor the vote. And when the new Egyptian parliament convenes, the new constitution it writes must ensure that the religious freedoms of all Egyptians are fully protected in law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.